Hello, my name is Tadashi Uchino, a professor of performance studies at Gatsu in Women's College, Tokyo, Japan. My topic is Robert Wilson in Japan, and I will explore the unique relationship between Robert Wilson and Japan. It is unique in the sense that Wilson's work has never been fully appreciated within Japan's theater culture, yet there is a strong sense of warm intimacy with his work among certain Japanese theater goers. The announcement that Wilson was awarded the prestigious 34th Premium Imperial Award Theater and Film Section in 2023, the news came a bit as a bit of a surprise to many of us in Japan as his representative works have not been widely seen here. According to Waseda University Studio Museum database, the database of contemporary theatrical performance records, only seven of Worsen's works are listed. Here is the diff starting with the uh, diff man glance in 1982. The, the list actually is incomplete. And additionally, uh, there was a swan song in 1990 with Japanese actors for the second Mitsui Art Festival and Lecture of Nothing in 2019 for the ninth Jet Olympics at Toga Village. And additionally, Wilson was also chosen to create an outside spectacle uh, titled In the Evening at Koi Pond for the IT Expo in 2005. According to a uh, Fuji television program, which is made for the uh, receptions of the award, this spectacle had more than 1.4 million audience members. Among Wilson's full-scale theatrical works, both in scale and numbers, Japan has seen only a few, including Einstein on the Beach in 1992, Madame Butterfly in 1999, and Wojciech in 2003. Since then, none of his larger works have been performed in Japan. In terms of publications on Wilson in Japan, only one book in Japanese was published in 1987, a translation of the catalog originally published in 1984 by the Contemporary Art Center Cincinnati and the Bird Hoffman Foundation. Accordingly, academically, sorry, Wilson is not necessarily a favored subject according to SINI Research Index, only 19 entries exist in Japanese, four of which are my own. Why is this the case? One obvious reason for the scarcity of Wilson's work uh, presence in Japan is the lack of public subsidies. It is very difficult for us to invite Wilson's larger works. While theoretical and sociocultural inquiries might also explain this phenomenon. I will not delve into them today due to the time constraints. Despite the general lack of interest in Wilson's work in Japan, some of his most inspiring small-scale works have been witnessed over the past 40 years beginning with Def Man Glantz in the first Toga International Theatre Festival in 18, 1982. On this occasion, Wilson came to a remote village of Toga and performed with Sugiura Chizuko, a female actor from Waseda Shogekijo, Waseda Little Theatre, now Scott, it's a Suzuki company of Toga. So Sugiura was uh, Suzuki company's uh, act, female actor and two elementary school children from the village. Here's a short clip of the performance and an interview by Professor Takahashi Yasunari, who happened to be my academic mentor during, during my graduate school days. Uh, 
ブータンのカッコ I'm aware that、uh, any work of art refuses to be summarized, but、uh, would it be possible for you to explain briefly、uh, the basic idea or concept that you aim to create or convey in this piece? Well, <clears throat> The basic idea, I think, is that、um, the piece be open ended, that it not draw one conclusion, but、uh, can be a catalyst for many ideas.、Uh, it can be something one can contemplate, it's something one can uh, uh, watch the way one watches、uh, when one goes to a park.、And Sits on a bench and、uh, daydreams.、Uh, the way you watch clouds, or the way you watch a sunset, or the way you watch、uh, a pine tree that's gently blowing in the breeze. That <coughs> it's hopefully of a time that's、um, like nature,、mm -hmm. it's a natural time. And、uh, so that one can watch the play. And think about what is happening on the play, but the performer doesn't demand、uh, the audience's primary attention. That the audience can、uh, think about other things, can,、uh, can daydream, can uh, uh, have space.、Mm -hmm. And hopefully, the, then the piece、uh, is something that can stimulate one's thoughts and imagination. <coughs> When I first、uh, Performed this work. It was actually the first work I made in the theater. It was made in 1968. It wasn't performed until 1970. But、um, when it was first performed, people said obviously that I was influenced by the No Theater. And I had never seen the No and wasn't, didn't know very much about it. So、um, I wasn't influenced by it when I made the work. Here I work with a body. The subtitle says Robert Wilson, Deaf Man Glass. Professor Yasunari Takahashi is、uh, explaining in Japanese the, some of the characteristics of the performance. It's emphasizing the,、uh, the minimalist、uh, aspect of the work compared to the other、uh, of Robert Wilson's work, which are gigantic in scale and technologically highly、uh, motivated. And also, he also emphasizes that super, super slow motion. Yeah. And also, the effect. The performance was well received 
And it is especially noteworthy that a long established standing friendship between Wilson and Suzuki Tadashi, the director, was established during the festival. This friendship which warrants a theoretical analysis can be compared to the relationship between Tago and Tenshin Okakura, Okakura Kakuzo or Okakura Tenshin, uh, the very famous Indian and Japanese figures who had a very interesting relationship uh, in the time of the modernization of both India and, and Japan, which uh, about which the Rastum Balucha, the uh, theoretician, had written a book called Another Asia. We will come back to that issue a little bit later, uh, at the, the end of my talk. And uh, but their encounter here had brought them to to work on the uh, the, the famous project of civil wars uh, that the tree is best uh, down, tree is best uh, best measured when it is down, in nineteen eighty four, and there was a workshop in Tokyo, which. Uh, featured some of Suzuki's uh, actors in Waseda Shou Gekijo, and also note, uh, which is more interesting, is perhaps that they, they featured the new actor, Kanze Hideo, as one of the members, of, uh, uh, one of the cast members. There is a documentary film directed by Howard uh, Bruckner, and uh, probably, I think that there is a, the, uh, you, it is accessible still, and you can see the Japanese section, uh, how it went in that film. The friendship between Wilson and Suzuki continued with the framework of theatre festivals. In, um, in 1988, Wilson returned with his uh, knee play for the first Mitsui festival an art festival held by annually until 1996, for which Suzuki was the artistic director. Suzuki invited Wilson back for the next Mitsui festival in 1990, where an, an intercultural collaboration was realized. The Japanese version of the production Swan Song featured two actors from Japanese, from Japan. One was Maru Akaji, a famous buto dancer from Dai Rakudakan, and Suzuki Ryozen, a former Waseda Shogekijo Suzuki's company member, who uh, left the company actually when Suzuki moved his uh, center of activity from Tokyo to Toga Village. Einstein on the beach for the opening of Art Fair Theater in Tokyo seems to be a happy exception as Japan finally was witnessed one of his uh, larger works. The performance were, was well received by a broader audience as it was staged in metropolitan Tokyo area. However, the reception of Wilson's work remained a transient event, partly due to the uh, coincidental environments of the time, which means that the theater was, uh, was a kind of a commercial venue that high art audiences, high art audiences or connoisseurs of high art or serious art for that matter, are not really expecting to go. But the friendship between Wilson and Suzuki continued as Suzuki along with some other uh, of his closer allies in world theater initiated the theater Olympics in 1994. Robert Wilson was one of the members of the committee uh, who organizes the Seattle Olympics since then. Suzuki was appointed the artistic director of Shizuoka Art Theater in 1995, uh, with the uh, exact title actually was a general director of a Shizuoka Performing Arts Center. The Wilson-Suzuki friendship reached another peak in 1999 in Shizuoka, when he brought two works to Shizuoka, Hamlet, a monologue, and Madame Butterfly. Again, the, uh, against the regular rule, the, the latter, the, the opera, did not tour other cities in Japan and could only be seen in Shizuoka. 
Well, actually, it was in、uh, Hamamatsu City, which is a, a bit far from the、uh, Shizuoka City where the Suzuki Theater is. But still,、uh, I, I remember that the theater was full.、Uh, watching finally the, the first opera that、uh, Wilson directed in, in Japan. Suzuki invited Hamlet a monologue again the following year in Shizuoka. Where Suzuki started the new festival in the springtime. After that, until 2016, the only work Wilson brought to Japan was Voicek in 2003. It was not Suzuki. Maybe he, he might have been involved, but the main body for invitation was so called the Japan Culture Foundation. And it, the foundation was very active during the 1990s, introducing the cutting edge European theater or dance productions to Japan. And Pina Bausch、um, and William Forsyth and Frankfurt Ballet were the regular、uh, v i s i t o r unlike Robert Wilson, to Japan. In fact, the Pina Bausch was coming to Japan almost every year in the 1990s. So, the Wojciech, I think, a called、uh, as, as a production,、uh, in terms of the financial side, it was not a success. I remember, I don't have a, the exact figure, but I remember that the,、uh, the theater was quite empty and because many of the people didn't know who Robert Wilson was. Although some serious audience members were actually there. Seeing the, the, the second big work that Wilson wrote after、uh, Einstein on the Beach in about almost more than 10 years ago in 1992. Before、uh, returning to Toga in 2019,、uh, Wilson created a rather exceptional outdoor spectacle, as I, told,、uh, or I already mentioned about that. but the,、uh, For the IT Expo in 2005. And its concept is as it's written in a slide visual and musical show based on themes of Earth, life, civilization, and the future. As the ecology it was one of the big issues for the IT Expo back in 2005. And as I said, the audience,、uh, regular audience, and just Went to the expo, saw the performance. So, 1.43 million people saw the performance. It is a video clip from a special program that Fuji Television Network aired on November 17th, 2023, and on BS Fuji on December 3rd, 2023, when we,、uh, Wilson was awarded the,、uh, that 34th premium. In Petty Area World. It is also seven minutes, it is almost all seven minutes long and includes an explanation of the reasons for Wilson's、uh, receiving the award. Master. 2005年愛知県で開催された愛知九博その大きな目玉となったのがこちら池の上に浮かび上がる巨大な猿のオブジェ<笑>そこに人類が生み出してきた歴史的な建造物が重ねられていきます人々の想像をはるかに超えた奇想天外な光の跡は宇宙人類の文明さらに過去から未来まで祝福するという壮大なイメージを形にしたもの143万人もの観客が魅了されましたこのイベントを生み出した人こそウィルソンさんなのです彼の芝居には独特の演出がありますオンとエクスプレインダカーズミスティックスオブデウィルソンズワー And it is titled the a s i a i a n s of the Quotation. The quotation is the video clip from Adam's Quotation. It was spoken for about 
ということで、なんかこう舞台芸術の私たちが持ってた先入観というのも完全にひっくり返したという。ビルソンさんは沈黙の演劇で様々な壁を越える演劇表現ができると考えたのです その革新的な舞台にいち早く目をつけた日本人がいました。1973年から続く富山県戸賀芸術公園。6つの劇場を備え、毎年夏に国際演劇祭を開催。世界中の演劇人が訪れる演劇の聖地とも呼ばれています。およそ40年前この地にビルソンさんは招聘され沈黙の演劇を披露したんです招聰した人物それが戸賀芸術公園を拠点に活動する演出家鈴木正さん から十郎らと共に1960年代に行われた新しい演劇運動を牽引していました。オーナーオブダンダーグラウンド、ヨーロッパ近代のあのデイレイトナイトスタイル、そういうものに対して、まあ批判的な動きが日本でも起こった。そ
ビルソンさんは主演を務めました。ビルソンさんは主演を務めました。ビルソンさんは主演を務めました。ビルソンさんは主演を務めました。ビルソンさんは主演を務めました。ビルソンさんは主演を務めました。ビルソンさんは主演